Hello everyone, happy Sunday. Uh, I've just finished the workshop. Uh, we had a lot of fun. It was just, it ended up being a one-on-one -on -one because I had two cancellations. Um, but I finished the workshop and we finished about half an hour early. So I thought while I'm here, I'll take advantage of the peace and the quiet because it is so quiet on a Sunday. The concrete's not going, the road's quiet. It's a bit windy, there's a storm coming, but it's just delightful here at the moment and the sun's shining. I'm in the mood to paint and create and just have some fun. So I thought let's finish this beautiful sideboard. So this is the sideboard that we've been working on for the past week, our grungy goddess. Um, I am so in love with this piece. I wish I had room to keep it because this feels like one of those pieces I'm going to regret selling. I'm so in love with it. So quick recap, we're up to part five today, um, but the rest of the parts are on our Facebook. Once I finish today, I will go through and get them all up onto our YouTube as well so you can watch them in order nice and easy. I know Facebook hides our videos a little bit. Um, so I'll get them all up on our YouTube in the next week or so. But we have cleaned. We fixed it. This one was falling apart. We have primed with Pure Eco Basin Blocker and then we've used Pure Eco Silk Finish and an Authentico colour as well. So we've used Rainforest, Fern, there's another green, Rainforest, Fern, Vineyard. We've used a custom mix which was like gum nut and I think there was some sugar cane and some fossil. It was like a really pale green. And... Then we used a colour called Wilderness as well, which is a colour from Authentico, who I used to stock many, many years ago. So I've had some fun. We've got some texture. We've um, got our beautiful greens. We have then gone over it with uh, Pure Eco Stain and Glaze with Sable and Midnight, which we're about to use on the top, just to add a little bit more depth. Uh, I've attached the handles. It's got a new back. Oops. It has got shelves it is nice and pretty inside um i was going to paint inside but it's looking really nice um and i just felt like it wasn't necessary so i'm going to leave it um as it is inside it is looking gorgeous oh i have done one more thing though that i haven't shown hang on Ooh, come on we have some wallpaper so this is one of our new wallpapers um i just felt like the drawers are in really good condition but they just felt like they needed something and this green was just calling to me. And I think it goes really, really well with our finish on the front. So these are the handles that we went with on the drawers. The drawers are a little bit different. They're a circle, but they've still got like a square in them. A um, little bit of detail. There's our texture. Uh, there's some Montmartre paints in there as well down this end. So it's just gorgeous. So I just thought while I'm here... And I'm in this kind of mood because I know this week is going to be one of the, or next week, Monday, uh, it's going to be one of those weeks. So I want to get this done while I'm in a really good mood. So let's do some staining. So this is our top. This is what we're working with. Um, I'm going to bring it down one end, I think. So this has been stripped back. So I've sanded this back and um, I've just finished sanding the edges um as you can see it has can we see kind of um it has like a lot of like little tiny things i don't know what has caused it but they're tiny little ones and i didn't want to sit there with my sander trying to get them all out because it's part of the piece as well as you all know if it's part of the piece it stays um so it's got some it's got a few cracks on it um, which is stable. I've checked it all. It's not going anywhere. The top's really well ad um, adhered, stuck down. Uh, so that's not an issue. But it's got, it's not the prettiest timber on top. It does have some discoloration as well. It's got a few like ink marks. Um, so it's nice, but considering our base, I want to go dark. I decided that a long time ago, we're going dark with this. So what you can do though, if you're trying to decide on a color and whether or not you want to keep the timber natural, come in with a wet cloth and just wipe over it. 
this is the best way to see what colour of timber you're going to get if you just oil or top coat. Okay, so you're going to get, for this timber, this really nice, and it is quite a nice colour actually, but it's um quite yellow. And I think it would work with this piece. And let me grab my board. Um, hang on. I know I shouldn't have put it away. Uh, this is our satin glaze board, just for reference. I've shown you guys this a lot. Uh, this is sepia. And I think this would actually go really, really nicely with the green as well. In fact, I know that it will go nicely. But I really want to go dark. Um, if anything, oh, oh my God. I just dropped that on myself. If anything, just to sort of hide some of this discoloration just a little bit. So we're going to come in with, oh, hang on, I'll show you on the board. I'll show you on the board. We're going to come in with Sable, which is our dark chocolate brown, and we're going to come in with Midnight, which is our black. We're not going to do a lot of Midnight. I don't want it too dark, but I want our Sable because it's going to add um, just a little bit of depth more than anything. Uh, put my cloth down there for a second. So application we use our sponge applicator you guys know this um we've got sable my sable does not have a label on it and we have a midnight that has also been used and abused so i'm going to start i think we're going to start with a sable now my cloth's a little bit damp but i do also have my spray bottle these ones are brilliant because you can Control how much water comes out. So grab yourself one of these. I've got one left in stock right now. Um, we're going to have our sponge a little bit damp. That's going to help us spread our stain around. Now, I don't want this so dark that you can't see the timber, okay? So, and when you're using a darker stain, you do need to keep that in mind. We're going to start with our sable all over, and then we're going to come in with just a little bit of our midnight and sort of mix it together a little bit on the surface. So grab your stain. Hang up, let me. You don't need a massive amount, just a little bit. And I'm going to come all over. Make sure you get your edges as well. I'm going to go straight down those edges. Anybody else got a massive storm about to hit? It's meant to hit us in the next like hour or so. And you're going to really spread this around. Now, my sponge is wet, and that's going to help this spread. This is a water-based stain, which makes um, this really, really easy and what we're trying to achieve here. Oh, I'm loving this colour. How beautiful is that? So I'm just going to keep moving this around until it's not really doing anything, and then I'll get more out of my jar. like so. So it's a really nice dark chocolate brown sable. It's one of my favourite stains. I'm just going to get this edge down here. And I like a sponge because you can sort of really squeeze it into all those nooks and crannies. So we're just going to keep moving it around until we're happy with it. Get a little bit more from my jar. I'm just going to tip some onto the sponge. You don't need much. So when you are doing a darker stain, try and go as much up and down as you can. And you do need to work a little bit quickly just because you don't want it to soak in too much in one area, not enough in another. Um, and you want it nice and even. So this is just going to help achieve... That nice even. A little bit more. And we're just working fairly quickly to spread that out. Now, being water based, we're going to reactivate this a little bit as we need to. Now, my timber is quite dry, so it is really drinking this up. It's quite thirsty. How beautiful is that already? I, I think this was definitely the right choice for this piece. It needed a darker top. I think a lighter top just wouldn't have done as well with it. I 
I love, there's just something about timber and I really like the process of staining timber as well. I find it quite an enjoyable, relaxing process. And that, just that instant result as well. So just really wiping up and down. I'm not going to put any more on my sponge. I'm going to sit up there on my books. Make sure you get your ends. So for the ends, I'm just really squishing that sponge into them and making sure I get plenty in there. Like so. Now, I'm really, really liking that, but I definitely want a little bit more depth. So I'm going to come in, although that is quite nice. Do I want? Yes, no, I think I will. I'm going to do, hang on, I don't want to put that on that, put that over there. I'm going to finish, that's a finished piece. It is sold. Um, I just don't want to accidentally get stained on it. All right, so now we've got our midnight, which is our black. I'm just going to do tiny, tiny little bit. I'm going to grab my spray bottle. It's going to help spread it out. I just want to darken it just that little bit, and I like the black. And that bit of contrast that the black gives me. The black's also going to help hide a few of those really small, uh, not small, um, some of those stains that were in the tinder. So I'm just sort of going to brush it over gently, wipe it over, and then I'm going to wet it and move it around like so. Now I'm not going all in with the black because I don't want it, I didn't want it black. I wanted it brown but I just want a little bit more depth. And these are the same two stains that we've used, all the glazes, stain and glaze, because that's what it's called, that we've used on the rest of the piece as well. So just like so. Just to add a little bit of depth. It's not like a massive difference. It's just enough. That storm's about to hit us, I would say. You can feel it in the air. It's quite warm today. I didn't even need the heater on in here today. Um, it's quite... You can just, you can feel it. I love a good storm. So I'm just sort of wiping it on. Just spritz it down again. So I'm not, I don't have that midnight on every single section. Just spraying it as I need to to keep it moving. It is warm in here, so it is sort of drying and soaking into that timber quite quickly. Like so. And then once this is dry, which it is pretty much dry now, we are going to head boil it as well. I might even hit it with a hairdryer for a second maybe, although it's dried really well. You can hemp oil straight away. As soon as it's touched dry, you're good to go. You don't have to wait. Now, I'm just going to run that along these edges as well. I want my edges to look very much the same as my top. So don't forget what you do with one, you've got to do with the other. I'm not adding any more stain to my sponge because there's quite a lot on there. Stand back, have a look at it, see if you've missed anywhere. My edges are generally where I miss bits. For example, down here. So I'm just really squeezing that sponge to get that stain into those edges. Now, if you do get some overlap on your edge, just sort of buff it out with your sponge if you need to. Add some water. Oops. But most of the time, you can just sort of buff it out like that. Oh, it's so beautiful. So sometimes it's nice just to stand back a little bit, see if anywhere needs a little bit more or if it's looking a bit patchy. Just 
just along here, I noticed there was a bit of a line, so I'm just spreading that out a little bit more. That looks so beautiful. Whew, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. It's so beautiful. So it looks a little bit patchy on camera, but it's actually, it's not. It's um, nice and even. Like so. Bring a little bit more up here. There we go. Just want a little bit more depth just there. All right, so I'm going to grab my hairdryer and we're going to blast it for a second and we're going to put our hemp oil on. Why not? Let's do it today. Um, I'd love to get this staged and done today. Let me go find somewhere to put these down um, and grab the hairdryer, which is over here. That breeze is nice. It's nice, but you can feel it. It's got that humidity and yucky feel to it that you know that there's a big storm coming. All right, we're just going to dry it with a hairdryer. Just make sure it's fully dry. Stain and glaze doesn't take long to dry at all, so this will just speed it up a little bit because stain and glaze works by soaking in as well. It's even faster. So just going to blast it with a hairdryer just for a second and make sure it's nice and dry and then we're going to seal it. So you don't have to wait a certain amount of time, you can seal straight away. It's very rare that I wait more than a couple of hours after my stain to seal. Normally I only wait like 10 to 15 minutes. Because I'm all right, I'm just going to speed that time up a little bit. So hemp oil is going to bring out our timber a little bit more. It's just going to lift this. This is very, very matte. Stain and Glaze does have a built-in top coat, um, but it, it is very matte. And sometimes it's really nice just to add in a little bit more depth. So just make sure I get those edges as well. Alright. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Ooh. I think I breathed in some dust then. Alright, let's grab our hemp oil, which is, where did I put that today? Mmm. It's out the back. Give me two seconds. All right, so you guys know the drill. I hope you do by now. If you don't, this is our drill. We have hemp oil, Pure Eco's hemp oil. Um, it is one of my absolute favorite products. It is really nourishing. Um, very durable. It's absolutely fantastic. Timber loves it. Um, you can use it over paint as well, like your chalk paint. It is a brilliant sealer. It's really, really easy to use, as you're about to see. Let me grab my cloth and my brush. So grab yourself a lint-free cloth. I like microfibers. I love the Aldi ones. They're really, really good quality. Grab yourself a chip brush. Mine currently has some black wax on it, which is fine. That's just from our workshop today. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but because we've got a dark top, I'm not fussed about some black wax. Doesn't matter. And some really fine sandpaper. I now stock this. This is 1,200 grit. It is on our website. This is the fun part. Hang on. <coughs> Sorry, I've got a tickle in my throat. All right, so what you're going to do, you're going to take your brush and your hemp oil and you're going to spread it all over. It does not have to be a perfect coat. It just needs to be on there. Put it directly on the piece or on your brush, whatever you like. I'm going to go down like half of it and then we'll go down the other half so you can see the difference. So make sure you get your edges as always. Don't forget your edges. 
We're going to do a nice even coat. It does not matter if you don't get every single square inch of it. You just want to get it on there. We're going to go down one side so you can see the difference. This is going to help bring out that brown in our stain and give us a little bit more depth as well. And it's going to bring out that wood grain and make it look absolutely stunning. It just got really dark in here because the clouds have come over. And um, that wind's picking up. It's quite nasty out there. We'll quickly do this. I'll stage it, list it, and then go home and hopefully make it home before it buckets down. All right, so your hemp oil all over. This is drinking it in. As I said, it is quite dry. So it will drink it in, but it doesn't stop us from doing this process. If you're doing any timber, this is the process that you need to be doing. Um, it's going to give you that really nice, smooth finish. So you can see the difference already. Very matte, quite shiny. Obviously, there's a lot of oil on this. You're going to come in with your sandpaper. 1,200 grit. I have this in stock. It is six or seven dollars. Um, the best stuff that you can use. You can also use steel wool, but this is brilliant. You're going to come in. It doesn't matter what direction you sand. You can go in any direction you like as long as it's a nice, fine sandpaper. Do not do this with 80 grit sandpaper. You will scratch your surface and ruin what you've just done. So nice and fine. And you're just going to come in and sand over this surface. This is going to knock back all those fibres of the timber. So when your timber gets wet, those fibres stand up. And then they're sitting up and that's what gives you that rough surface. My cloth can't wipe over that comfortably because it's catching. Wiping over this though, it's going to be like a baby's bottom. It's going to be nice and smooth. So you don't have to do this for any set amount of time. I do it for a minute or two. All over. My paper's a bit big. I should have ripped that down a bit smaller, but that's all right. Nice and smooth all over. This is also pushing that hemp oil into your surface, which is going to just add to the durability. So hemp oil works by curing, where it interacts with the oxygen in the air, and it hardens. It takes about 30 days to fully cure, but you can lightly use this piece within the first few hours of applying it. Just keep in mind you may get some oil on your pieces, so always be gentle those first few days. Don't put like a piece of clothing on it or a cloth because it will just drink it up and then you'll have a patch. So you're just going to wipe this over and you'll sort of feel that difference as well as it goes. You'll feel the difference of where it's nice and smooth, where it's a bit rough because your sandpaper will sort of just glide over it that little bit easier. Again, any direction. If you want to go it up and down, you can. Um, as long as you've got a nice fine sandpaper, it doesn't matter. Come in with your cloth. You're going to remove that excess like so. And again, rotate your cloth. Don't keep wiping that same part of your cloth on your surface. This will also help you achieve a little bit of a shine. It won't be a massive difference, but it will be that touch shinier than the real matte darkness of the... Um, Stain and glaze. So can you see how beautiful that colour is? And this feels so smooth. It's just gorgeous. So give it a good buff. What you're going to do, I'm going to finish the whole thing. Tomorrow I will come back. It's now raining. Tomorrow I'm going to come back and I will feel this. If it feels dry, I will apply more hemp oil. If it feels wet... I'll give it another buff. I like to generally give it a second buff anyway. Um, but if it's feeling good, you're generally all right. Sometimes it is nice, though, just to give it a quick second buff. All right, let's do this other side. Spread it out. Again, doesn't matter if you don't get every square inch of it. It's just started raining, so I am now going to rush just a little bit. I would like to get out to the car before it buckets down. I'd like to get home before it buckets down. 
It's meant to hail as well, so I do want to get out of here before that hits. Ideally, I'd like to. <laughs> so, pop your hemp oil all over. Again, it doesn't matter if you overlap, you're not going to see that. And it doesn't matter if you miss sections. Where'd my sandpaper go? Down there. All right, stand over it again. Nice and light. I'm not really putting any elbow behind it. I'm letting the sandpaper do the work. And you'll sort of feel that resistance change as you go as well. Um, it will be quite like you have to put a bit more elbow behind it. And then as it smooths out, it'll be less and less. And it will just feel nicer to sand over. So... All over. Again, doesn't matter if you overlap. It's not a big deal. This, unlike stain, you're not going to notice. <laughs> it is raining. I better hurry up, eh? This isn't going to stage now. I wasn't fast enough. That's all right. All right. Once you've done your sanding, give it a wipe. Remove that excess. Like so. So I'll come back tomorrow morning and I will give this another wipe down. Don't forget your edges. So I'm just sort of going to wipe that brush along there, grab my sandpaper really lightly over the edge, and then buff it off. Same down this end. Can you see how it's just really brought that colour out as well? It has made that little bit of difference. So I'm just using the excess that's on my brush right now. I'm not adding any more. All the way along my edge. Down along this edge too. And then wiping off the excess with my cloth. All right, it's done. It's done. So I'll have this staged and up for sale tomorrow. I'm not going to do it now. I'm going to try and nip out to the car before it really, really comes down. I don't really fancy getting that wet today. So just give it another buff and then I'll go back over this tomorrow, stage it, sell it, hopefully. If that's the goal, thank you all so much for joining me on this transformation. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure having you all along. Enjoy your afternoon. Enjoy your Sunday. Um, I'm going to beat that rain. Bye, everyone.